scientists announced today the discovery of a previously unobserved asteroid, estimated to be roughly 10 kilometers in diameter. Designated CO103, the object shows a rather high possibility of entering the solar system and a non-insignificant chance of collision with the planet. Astronomers were quick to add that very little is known about the orbit and speed of the asteroid in these early stages, and trajectory predictions are very likely to change as more data is collected. That's right, Mary. Though we know very little, scientists say the asteroid's electromagnetic atmosphere may cause some minor interference with electronics. And we'll be right back after this commercial break.
Hey, you, um, you hear the news? No. Did something happen? I've been in a deep meditative trance for the past two hours. Okay, okay. I was just checking in. There's nothing to be upset about yet. Tell that to Naomi. She's been texting me asteroid facts, and they are... high-octane nightmare fuel. Sounds like Naomi. You know every fact she sends me has been cross-checked with at least three verified sources. Kind of hard to dismiss. If actual scientists don't have answers, then some random weirdos on the internet definitely don't. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Thanks. Trust me. You staying up? No. Gonna head to bed. Okay. Okay. Me too. Good night. Night. It's gonna be fine. It's senior year. Just gotta make it to the summer tour. And communities all across the continent reacted to the news of a previously unknown space object this morning. Enough about the asteroid. Yeah, that's a good call. I might be obsessing. When did you start listening to Pangea this morning? I thought the goal is to not turn into dead. Uh, I have my own reasons to stay informed. I'm on the debate team. I'm class president. And dad could never pull off this outfit that I'm totally crushing. This silence is nice. We don't need to fill it. Definitely not. Except you have something to say. No. No. Well, hey, hey, could I run something by you? Fine. So today, big day, class president's speech at the assembly. In light of the whole space rock, potential demise of civilization thing, my chosen theme feels off. What's the theme? Using this year to, um, make an impact. You're overthinking it. I use it 542 times in a 1,000 word speech. I even had a section where I rhymed every sentence with impact. Seriously, let it go. No, I have to change it. Yeah, it's just too weird. Can I run some ideas by you? Please help me. I have my own stuff going on. Ask Naomi. Seriously, please. You're so comfortable on stage, and I don't know how you do it. And I want to be that way. Okay. Here's what I'd suggest. You've got to... Make people laugh. If that means cracking a few jokes about our impending doom, so be it. What if nobody gets it? You're funny. I mean, everyone always loves your terrible dad jokes. Did you just admit that you think I'm funny? No. Thank you. You give pretty good advice sometimes. Wow, I have never been to school this early. You mean on time? Oh. Well, good luck today. Thanks. And you'll be there. I'll just focus on you and the audience. <laughs> yeah. Assembly? I can't remember the last time I actually went to that. See? It'll be a fun new thing for you. Plus, you'll get all the hot intel on Senior Picture Day. Woohoo! What do you 
you doing here? You being up this early feels... wrong. Wait, blink twice if you're a mimic. <laughs> new year, new me. Okay, but if you join the bait club or something, I'm getting you some help. Hmm, fair. Okay, okay, everybody. Lots of assembly energy happening right now. I kind of like it. Oh, are they still doing that? I don't know. The whole apocalypse thing really puts talking about Pizza Fridays in a different light. I was just gonna go chill on the roof. You are obsessed with going up there. You're above and inside, on the outside. It's awesome. Um... So, uh, I have some scary news. Gosh, you think she could write a nice text for once? Um, uh, what should I say back? I mean, that will be there? Wait, there's a gif I think is perfect. Ah, uh, not helpful. I think this means she's rooting for us? We're gonna get in? Or she's telling us not to get our hopes up. No way. She wouldn't bother with that. Ugh. Emergency band meeting! We need a plan for the audition. So, meeting on the roof? Oh my gosh! Get over the roof! Perfect. Let's go. Wait a minute. Don't we have, like, a week till the audition? Exactly! You're gonna love the view up there. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty great. Right? Peaceful. No thanks. I quit. My voice. Anyway, the bad news. About the giant rock that's gonna kill us all? Yeah. We heard. We need new songs for the audition. Seriously though, I got like no sleep thanks to the news. What if it's real? I mean, it's probably, definitely, real. So, like, it could be just as bad as people are saying. They never even tell us if we were all toast. Right? What if everything we're doing is for nothing? I just spent hours on homework when I could have been, I don't know, some fun bucket list thing. And we can still win Battle of the Bands, asteroid or not. Really? Should we even practice at a time like this? Or should we throw off the shackles of capitalism and bound into a life of freedom and hedonistic self-indulgence? <sighs> Hell yeah, Trish. Let's do the music thing, thanks. Which, again, is why we're up here. To talk about the songs. So that'd be, what, three new ones? That's a lot, dude. That's a lot. I have this project with Rosa and a test already happening in calculus, Plus babysitting again, and my sister's birthday. We can keep your part really simple. And, and she said all the songs, but maybe only two. Same level of doable. Not happening. Just one? I can't. Unless you want to play by yourself. Fine. Ooh. Let's just play an old song in, like, a new way. Ugh, they're so embarrassing. Wow, okay, sorry. Yikes. Rude. No, ugh, I didn't mean it like that. I just want to write about bigger things now. 
Our old stuff is about big things. But you could change some of it, I guess. Works for me. Let us know when you're done. Well, maybe we can all pick one at lunch. Sure, sure. I gotta go. To my locker, but in a shady way. Because I have a terrible secret today. <laughs> oh boy. Was I weird with Trish just now? Like, weird weird? Yeah, kinda. Uh, are you okay? You've come into this year kinda intense with the band stuff. What's up? The band is important. Why did she have to just leave? I said it was an emergency. You did? And it is. To you. Yeah. And I'm in the band, so therefore... Band emergency. I bet this would be a good spot to be if it hits. The asteroid? I'd rather not spend my last moments at school, actually. It's weird how everyone's acting like nothing is different. Like, to me, everything feels different now. Even though it's just a maybe? Yeah, I don't know. It's like once something may or may not happen, you can't stop thinking about it. And that's like the rest of my life all of a sudden. We're going on tour with the band. You, me, Trish, a van with our name on the side. Nothing has changed. <laughs> the van would be pretty sick. So, you know how we all play Legends and lore, right? An IDM? Yeah. I'm joining this weekend, right? You are. Yes. Anyway, I've been playing LNL since I was like eight years old. I know the game better than anyone in this whole school. It sucks when the people you want to share it with aren't as interested. So, I get it. But I don't know if a lot of other people do. Time to assemble. Good luck with that. Catch me up on whatever I miss. About the yearbook, dance, or whatever. You're not coming? <laughs> no. I gotta do some invoicing and some l, &L planning. You wanna ditch with me? Well, Trish isn't there, so...
Are you gonna go in or? Guess I have to. Hi, I saved you a spot. Excellent seating choice, right? Not so close to the front that we have to like make awkward eye contact. I worked at a movie theater last summer, so I'm kind of an expert on optimal seating. Cool. <laughs> Watching movies for free sounds awesome. Oh, hey! Oh my god! Oh my god, I heard you got an audition for the showcase. That's huge! Oh yeah, we're gonna be amazing. No big deal. Oh, hey! Did I tell you what Mango stole this morning? Not one, but three socks from my laundry. Do you think she's trying to build a nest? I mean, I know sometimes they build dens, but usually only in mating season. Oh my god. Baby mangoes? Ah! Yes, please. I want five. A dozen. Ah, wow. <laughs> yep. Hey, it's starting. Good morning. We have a quick announcement and then we'll be hearing from our class president. Truly an inspiration to us all. Yes, and hi, I'm Naomi, and I'm here to remind you that the yearbook club is still looking for members. I know I want to remember this year forever. So you can join and be part of making our memories last a lifetime through good design. And speaking of yearbook, don't forget senior pictures are coming up. Um, uh, so some good tips for taking good photos can be found on the yearbook club website at... Okay. Well, uh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> She seems fearless. We don't want to miss us. A as in each other, it's not about the rock that might hit us. Even though it definitely probably won't. But come on, I can't be the only one kind of hoping it does. Can't be more brutal than finals, right? Some laughs. Not bad. She barely knows Rosa. In conclusion, maybe the rock will hit us, and maybe probably it won't. But either way, we will still have each other. Kind of. Okay, and that's my perfectly crafted plug for the big dance. So, end of the year, mark your calendars, prep your moves. That's it for me. You've been great, Volcano High. Please don't post any videos of this, like, anywhere ever. Thanks.